You want to be my YouTube? Say welcome back. All right, doing my stretches. Pam. Wow. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Dylan. A song fucks. Okay, I'm gonna do some rehab. I just went to St. Louis. No, oh, what the fuck's wrong with you? And we came up with a warm up routine that's helping my hip and my pain feel better. And I'm gonna show you guys what we did. So first, I did the banded mobility. Showed it before in my videos, but as you can see in this one, I'm grabbing a bench now to help me hold the leverage, so you're not like the band's like literally pulling you away. So I felt like I was taking a lot of my muscle and a lot of my brain power to just hold myself up rather than holding onto the bench and just kind of like relaxing into the stretch, which I'll show you in the video here. I can't wait to be cracked out. And then I have these locked clamshell things. So my foot, your pelvis is at 45 degrees to the floor. So it's kind of close to the floor. Your foot's behind your ankle right there. Your body's down. And then you're just gonna squeeze and lift your knee off the ground. I swear when you first had me do these, I like could not get that muscle to fire. Like I was like, I can't do it. But now look at me, lifting an inch off the ground. I do like 20 of these and like hold the top for a bit. I do both sides, by the way. I'm done with that, I do, I forgot what they're called. They're like plank, clamshell, lift. Kind of similar motion, but there's an emphasis on lifting this higher and like squeezing. I do six of these. I like to do, he said pick one or the other, but I like to do both, so I do six of each, and I'll show you the other one after this one. The next one I do is the DNS star, and I know that I've talked about this one before, but we made a little adjustment to it to make it a little bit harder, one, and then two, feeling it where, my breath, feeling it where I know that I have the issue in my glute. So just firing that issue. So same concept, up in that plank, this knee's gonna be here. This knee drops to your toes. And then instead of having my hip down like this, I'm gonna make sure it's pulled up and I have tension there. One, and then hold it, two, three. I'm gonna do six of those. Oh, and your hand goes out like this for some reason. I don't know why. My, one of my main issues, besides my labor being torn, is like my external rotation is like non-existent on this leg. So to add something that really, really helped me was going in a squat and then making this, like making myself feel that external rotation in, in my glute. Like, do you see that like small movement? I'm extra banding because the band that he had me use was like really tight and these aren't like that tight. So if you have one strong band, I'm sure you won't need two. And that's it, that's my warm up I do for my hip before I start my weightlifting. So I'm trying these powerlifting knee sleeves and they're seven millimeter, but they're made with the neoprene and like thicker technology or something like that. They're really tight. So I used them yesterday and they felt like they were gonna cut off my circulation. I feel like I would, what, would wanna only use them for like clean and jerks and um, squats. So I'm just trying it out so we can see. Do I wanna bring two pairs of knee sleeves to come? is the real question. So this week's a deload week. I did a little local competition to qualify for the Arnold and I, I'm all signed up so I'm going to the Arnold. So if you're going to the Arnold, let me know. Or don't, actually. But I feel like my body just all of a sudden one day was like, no. And 
times. Last week it was on, it was the day of the competition. I felt so bad. Like my hip felt bad, my back felt bad, like my shoulders felt bad. I mean, I still did the competition, it was fine, but it was like, okay, like I'm glad that this was like a scheduled deload, although I would have had to have been like, hey, let's like take a step back. So everything is, everything's fine now. And now we have front squat fives. We have some jerks from behind the neck, and then we have, oh, it's like behind the neck, in front of the neck, and then something else, some poles or something. Oh, oh my God, we have those overhead holds from the blocks, and it, um, I read on my paper it said 127 kilos for my top set for a double. I on it like in my brain right now, I don't think I could do that. But I'll try. I mean, that's all I can do, right? I mean, I'll, I'll probably surprise myself and it'll probably be easy. But again, he wouldn't. I don't think he would schedule a number for me that I couldn't do or like was impossible and like taking from what other people have done and other people's strengths. Like I feel like that wouldn't be a ridiculous number. But on 127 kilos. I've like never loaded on the bar except for a back squat, so. But I'm feeling kind of sick today. I'm feeling like a little under the weather. So I ice bath this morning. Dylan said it would help, so I ice bath and then, I don't know. And then that I'm out and about and like having caffeine in my system, I do feel a little better. Um, but I do feel a little sick today. <laughs> don't tell anybody. <laughs> Just chipping away. <laughs> little bit thick or something. Feels good. <laughs> Feels great. <laughs> Feels strong. <laughs> uh. Oh, okay. On a deload week, I really try to not think over things because I do that all the time. And deload week, I'm just focused on, okay, I'm just going to make the lift, just going to lift. I kind of take a little bit of a break with that. Some weird noises came out of my mouth. I hate when that happens. But then I like feel cool sometimes. Oh shit. Bye.